What's going on, everybody? This is Nick with Unstable Antics. Here with me is my buddy, Ben. He is the mastermind behind the F-150R build. Ben, what the hell inspired you to make this creature? Well, uh, when the 2020 GT500 came out a couple years ago, I thought it would have been really neat if Ford actually offered the blower as a parts counter uh, installation. And um, I had an opportunity this past spring to get my hands on one with uh, with one. So we went ahead and, and, and did some machining and, and made it work. So, How'd you source this blower? A friend of mine uh, here in the Cedar Rapids area uh, works at, or owns a business called Rare Performance and um, he was able to find a takeoff blower for me. Damn. I, to be honest, I was I was gonna put an Eldbrock kit on here, and uh, he called me literally the couple days before I was gonna pull the trigger on that, and um, that obviously changed the course of the whole build at that point. Nice. So, Who's tuning it? Uh, Lund Racing is right now. I uh, actually got uh, John Jr. Uh, tuning it. Uh, ran into a few issues on on startup, and we're working through those. Uh, I was hoping to have the tune finalized this week, but uh, probably next week will it'll be. It'll be done. So nice. You want to tell us about the fuel system? So yeah, it's got uh, four uh, double or uh, twin pumps, uh, dash eight lines, uh, air motive regulators, uh, 2020 GT500 fuel rails, and FIC 1000 injectors in it currently. Nice. So did you have to use the GT500 rails, or was that just the option you went with? Yeah, to make to, to make things easier, uh, it, it just made sense to use the GT500 rails and then be able to to plumb the direct injection um, regulator from that into those, and then I have to use another regulator. So it looks like you also did a little machining yourself. Like, what uh, what's your background in? Well, actually, I'm just a maintenance guy here in here in town, but uh, I enjoy doing uh, machining projects on the side, and uh, I did the CAD design work for this and then a uh, guy I work with actually uh, cut it out on a CNC that he has access to. So these these are actually what makes this whole uh, project possible. So here's kind of a prototype of the spacer we used. Uh, this actually spaces the blower up enough to clear the direct injection fuel rails in the valley. Actually had to space the, the blower up about an inch and a half to clear the uh, direct injection rails that are in the valley of the block. So this this is a Gen 3 Coyote with 2020 GT500 blower and everything is still functional on it. Yeah, so. And how many miles are on this thing? Currently we are at 2,300 miles. 2,300 miles, and yep. your wife signed off on this project from the beginning, right? I'll be honest, she didn't know anything about it until just about a month ago and uh, she was not happy. <laughs> she was she was not impressed. Hopefully, she'll be impressed once it's you know finalized the tuning, right? Yeah, I'm I'm hoping so because there's a lot on the line here. There might be a marriage on the line. <laughs> so. But you also have a few other cars, right? So yeah, I've got a 13 GT with a Ford Racing Whipple kit on it. Got an 04 Cobra with a 33 Lysum, uh, an 82 GT Terminator swap car that we're we're currently finishing up, and then I've got an 82 GT T-top car. Uh, that that's uh, silver with red interior, and I'm the second owner of that. So, oh yeah! If you guys want to see some videos on those cars, definitely comment below, and we'll see if uh, Ben will be kind enough to show those cars off because we don't really see them out in the wild no, too often. No, we don't. <laughs> I think the uh, I think the 13 might have 5,500 miles on it now. So, nice. which he's actually uh, willing to my son. Yeah. Yep. So, <laughs> gave the namesake. So. Yep. Cool. All right, and go. All right, so it's got the 2020 Shelby blower on it. Um, that's 100% stock. Stock uh, 92 millimeter throttle body. Um, intake pipe, I made that. Uh, this is an air raid box with just a regular air raid filter in it. It's got a B Woody uh, 15 to 20 F-150 coolant tank in it, ice box tank. Um, Reached out to VMP and we installed a, a triple pass heat exchanger in it with a with a Whipple intercooler pump, and it's got all four fuel system in it except for the regulators and FIC 1000 injectors in it. 
I machined, or I did, I, I did the CAD work, and then I had a guy that I worked with um, machine the, the actual spacers themselves for me. And those spacers are roughly an inch and a half tall to clear the direct injection fuel rails that are below, beneath the blower. So this is a Gen 3 Coyote motor that has a uh, functional DI on it currently. It started life as a stock 2020 F-150. Uh, from the get-go, I added the Ford Racing lowering kit in the front and rear. I did that with probably three, 400 miles on it. Uh, since then, I've added uh, limited 22-inch rims, uh, a Lariat, Lariat grill with the, uh, the Ford smoked emblems on this side. liked that build as much as I did we actually documented the whole process of what it took to actually convert that blower to fit onto a stock coyote so uh, stay tuned for those videos so you definitely want to subscribe you definitely want to share this video get some support out from Ben he took a lot of hard work I think it was about six months of sourcing parts putting it together and making everything work so stay tuned for those videos and uh, check you in the next one